All right, so what are my first impressions? First impressions, very, very strong. Way stronger than any brake I've ever tried. Um, I haven't ever tried TRPs and some of those other ones, um, but I've done about on a couple different versions of SRAM and Shimano, and these are definitely way stronger than any of the ones I've had before. Way less pressure to pull, I would say. Like, you only need about half as much pressure. I know they're supposed to be 50% stronger, but it, it really does feel like I have to pull my brakes about half as hard as I usually do, which is kind of nice. Um, it's kind of like on those long runs when you kind of get hand fatigue a little bit from your brakes. Um, I definitely don't think you'll get that with this, especially if you adjust them in a little bit, since it feels like the bite, the lever pull is a lot less because you just get so much more power in such a shorter amount of range, but you still get plenty of modulation. So, so far, I really, really like them. Um, would I say I would upgrade from codes to these after first impressions if it wasn't for um, what I'm currently doing? Because um, I'm currently, basically I took my codes and put them on my fat bikes. My fat bike had Shimano and I really dislike Shimano brakes. So I basically was gonna upgrade to codes on my fat bike anyways. So this was just an additional $100, 150 bucks um, to put them on this bike. And I think for an e-bike, it's perfect brake for the bike. Um, would I spend the money to put them on my Evil Reckoning? Probably not. Um, I already have codes on there and they work really good. Maybe if I did a lot of barks, uh, bike park stuff, I might, but. All right, sorry, a bunch of bikers were going by. This, if this was a downhill bike, absolutely. I would say it was definitely worth the upgrade. For a regular enduro bike, for most people, I would say if you really want the strongest, best brakes you can get that I've ever ridden, these would be it. I'll do a, probably like a 90 day, like after I've run them for a few months on this bike, I'll do a, like a long-term review or a little bit longer long-term review once I can get it up to some serious steep stuff. But as for now, that's what we got. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. Peace.